in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Be almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Robert Martin. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 31, verses one through seven. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age-old love, I have loved you. So I have kept my mercy towards you. Again, I will restore you and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with the merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mounts of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruit. Yes, a day will come when the watchman will call out on Mount Ephraim. Rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, Shout with joy for Jacob, exalt at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scatters Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of the conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men as well as old. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon, and the whole of Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling after us. He said in reply, 
I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their master. And Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And our daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. We call upon the intercession of St. Joseph, help of the sick, protector of his holy church. We ask him to bless us in this time of turmoil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our the Pope Francis, that he continue to guide the church with wisdom and humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all those who are considering joining the RCIA program, that the Holy Spirit touch their hearts and they join us this fall. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our That a spirit of peace, charity, and love continue to be the guiding forces for our community, our state, our nation, and our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all those suffering with the coronavirus, that they link their suffering to the redemptive suffering of Jesus Christ, for the salvation of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We ask your blessing on us. Help us to grow in faith, to persevere on the journey to heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands and the grace of the Lord in his name. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that to the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation, and having filled her with life to the power of your Spirit, you never cease to her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom, and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord, your promise would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly in earth, while with all the church, as one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth have full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Today, I'd like you to reflect on St. Hilary's great quote about the Eucharist. He said, When we speak of the reality of Christ's nature being in us, we would be speaking foolishly and impiously had we not learned it from him. For he himself says, My flesh is true food and my blood is truly drink. He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. As for the reality of his flesh and blood, there is no room left for doubt, because now, both by the declaration of the Lord himself and by our own faith, 
It is truly flesh and it is truly blood. And these elements bring it about. When taken and consumed, we are in Christ and Christ is in us. You're indeed holy and be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we're gathered by his love, and when it's once for his disciples and now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom he led to his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church, which is in most holy trinity past Christiane, by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. True Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Is there no <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to give you the my grave. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive these heavenly sacraments, we beseech O Lord your mercy that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may by imitating her serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.